In section three, we're going to talk about the time value of money. And our first video is going to talk about present value. Present value is the relationship between a promise of some future cash amount received against, well, what is that worth today? So the present value assumes that you're going to be able to invest the money you're going to receive in the future if you had it today at some rate of return. So what this means is that even if you're doing something silly like keeping your money buried in the backyard, it's slowly losing value due to inflation, plus whatever that rate of return you could earn on it if you had invested it somewhere. So with that, we'll jump right into a notebook and explore present value. The first thing I'm gonna do is set up my environment, and we're gonna plot something towards the end, so I'm going to import matplotlib. Uh, we're going to make use of numpy and maybe pandas, and then I'm going to use this magic function inline so that whatever I graph will show up in the notebook. We'll start off with a basic example, and present value is going to assume that we have some future value we're interested in, and I'll just arbitrarily decide it's $50,000. R is going to be this rate of return that we could earn if we had the money today. T is going to be how far out into the future we want to look. And in this case, it's going to be in years. Since we have those inputs, we can calculate a present value. And it's just going to be equal to the future value divided by 1 plus the rate of return raised to the time. Then we can print out the result. I'll round it two decimals. So if somebody promised to give us $50,000 one year in the future, in terms of today's dollars, that's only worth 47619 Okay, so we can also write a simple function call it PV, and give it some inputs. And then we'll just return this equation from above. Okay, we'll test our function. And uh, to test it, I'll go out a little farther into the future. And then we just call our function and pass in the variables. Then we'll just call our function, pass in the variables we've defined. And so if we wait five years to get the $50,000, uh, we should be willing to take 39000 a little over 39000 for that today. So what if we think we have won the lottery? All right, and the lottery is worth a million dollars. And they're going to pay you that million dollars spread out over 20 years. We want to know, well, what's that worth today? So I'm going to set up a variable, call it cash flows. And I will make that a NumPy array filled with ones, 20 long. And then I'll multiply it by $50,000. All right, so this is just going to look like we got 20 piles of $50,000. But we want to know what's the present value, since we're going to be receiving that last pile 20 years from now, what's that worth? I'm going to go ahead and make a loop to figure that out. So for each year in a range uh, that's as long as cash flows, we're going to replace whatever's in cash flows with a rounded cash flow at time t. Divide that by 1 plus the rate, and then we'll raise it to the t. We'll print it out to get an idea what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a variable called cash flows. 
and I am going to place 20 $50,000 piles in that array. I'm going to keep a placeholder array, and I'm going to set it equal to the cash flows size. Then I'm going to loop through. And I'm going to replace what's in the cash flows at a specific year with a rounded version of the discounted cash flow. Discounted back for the number of years that have passed. We'll then get a look at the array. And so this should look somewhat familiar, at least the first value where it's worth our first example. And then out at the fifth value, it's worth our second example above. So let's see what this looks like graphically. I'm going to call plot and plot cash flows. I am then going to set the grid line style. Then I'm going to set the x axis ticks to show every fifth year. So we'll run that. And then we can see graphically how our money is becoming worth less and less over time. So what's the total value of this million dollars we just won in terms of today's dollars? We can get that by just summing up the cash flows. Okay, so without rounding, we see our million dollar lottery win is really only worth 654,266 and some change. So that should get us started with present value.